All right, I want to do um, a little talk here and um, about um, something known as systemic pesticides. Neonicotinoid, I can't even say it, neonicotinoid pesticides. Systemic pesticides were introduced in 1996. And um, they, uh, here you are spraying with a helicopter, you know, putting them on. Systemic pesticides basically are digested by the plant, all right? They're kind of like the super drugs that we talk about. They're a new generation, and they're very effective in killing pests. However, they also affect what? They affect honeybees. Um, and um, the poor little honeybees, here you go, all right? A little honeybee here, um, basically digests the, uh, picks up the, um, the nectar, and the nectar has this systemic pesticides in it because the plant digests it. And then what happens is they have shown images um, of the bees. They act kind of drunk on the plants. It kind of makes them, they're having probably some sort of hallucin hallucinations or whatever. They, they, don't, they kind of move around in an erratic fashion. And you can see the videos online. And what's happening is these pesticides, these, this, this kind of it's affecting them. Now, now, the science has never done any tests on whether or not um, um, it affects long term. All they tested was, and, and, there's, and they, they say this, um, is that basically they asked whether or not if the, if, if the honeybees come, uh, interact with it, will they die? No, they don't immediately die. But however, there was no long term testing. What happens to the brood? What happens? And so on. And what we're seeing now is we're seeing colony collapse disorders or direct res uh, response. Now, this group here is taking a very hands-on um, attempt. Now, this hasn't been banned yet, but here is this Japanese group um, who's done research, spent a significant amount of money, and saying, A, the government should put immediate halt on necessary use of pesticides. The use of should be temporarily stopped, right? of systemic pesticides. I'm going to use systemic because it's easier to say than neonicotoids, right? And um, uh, before severe damage caused to plentiful ecosystems in Japan. Here, you know, this is uh, significant, really good news. And this is 2010. And I understand 2011 was the tsunami. And I'm sure this has been put on the back, you know, the, 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 the back background. So ultimately, there's some information here about Japan being one of the largest uh, users of agricultural pesticides. Facts about honeybee loss. Here you go, right? Um, in 2000, 2005, there were sporadic reports of large numbers of uh, honeybees dead across different regions of Japan. Farms have been sustained uh, um, in the Kata area, and the pesticide name, green. Uh, were used controlling uh, rice um, patties. So they started using this stuff actually in 1995 in Japan. Remember, in, in 1996, in 2005, they started using it, right? It finally got in here. In Hokkaido, only uh, spray, but uh, unmanned helicopter had sprayed pesticides around dilution so far. So it's showing that um, uh, the government here has turned a blind eye on it. So here is, you know, um, information on bee losses are spreading across Japan. Uh, prefectures hit hard, right? And um, ultimately, this is, you know, serious. All right. So they show stars here. Fukui wasn't even in the study, right? So I'm in Fukui. So the opportunity here is for me to bring this awareness. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this fight to the local farmers. I don't think they're aware of this. I've never seen this. Um, and ultimately, uh, um, you know, there's been reports of some forms of honeybees lost due to the pesticide product. Uh, that's the name. So here it is. And uh, I need to get this all. I need to get the Japanese version of this. You know, their honeybees are so important, right? They're so important, and ultimately, uh, you know, they say 
every third bite of food comes from a honeybee. Right? If you like any of these vegetables, any of these fruits, they're the pollinator, right? Um, and uh, it's so important that we protect our pollinators. It's extremely important that we do something before it's too late. As Albert Einstein says, you know, no more bees, no more pollination, no more plants, no more animals, no more man. It's that simple. So, you know, what do we do? And, um, you know, here's a great graph that shows the, um, you know, the, the problem. It really, um, let me zoom out a little bit here, okay? Um, what it, you know, what it basically uh, talks about is it, basically there's an increase in mites because the pesticides are weakening the bees' immune systems and so on. We also need to be focusing on indigenous species like the Japanese honeybee and others areas and, and not just the European ones which are com commonly used. Um, but, uh, you know, this is so important for us to to deal with and to act on now before it's too late um, and uh, you know what are you doing can you get part take part and you know become an activist in uh, beekeeping world beekeeping world um, that's an initiative we're not a, it's about a little bit about beekeeping world we don't want to be a nonprofit we're going to be grassroots, we're going to motivate small groups to take action. Um, you know, what we, what we learned recently with um, um, Koenig or whatever it was, 2012, I don't want to start another, with the nonprofit. Nonprofits are middlemen. We don't need a middleman. We can all take action and we all can fight, take the fight directly to them. Um, and we can be supported by corporate contributions and other things, and this is corporate, uh, you know, uh, initiative. So here's information about what neo uh, nicotine pesticides are. Right? Uh, they have nicotine, right? So they do have nicotine. Here it is. They show it what it is. Um, well, 1900s after the organic. Uh, so they've been around quite a while. Um, and I don't know if this is the same as systemic. I guess this, these are not systemic, right? So here's a nice little chart, right, of um, in Japan. And uh, here's some of the products. There's bear. Okay. So bear. Um, and uh, use the product's name. So here are uh, products that are also out there, forestry, gardening. So we should boycott these. These are actually Japanese ones, showing the usage of it. Um, so here they are. And even in the homes, it shows like in the homes, pets, these pesticides. Really great information, and you actually can, um, um, you know, basically find out more about this. Read the PDF that's linked in this video and learn more. Um, we're accelerating the collapse of the ecosystem, right? The end of growth. The end of growth is not population. The end of our population growth. It has nothing. It's, it's the end of growth. Uh, it's it's a, it's it, it's a it's a it's a very um, complicated issue, more complicated than climate change. It's our ecosystem, right? And not only that, sustaining what we have in the sense of um, you know we're growing in usage of of um, of um, natural resources exponentially. We're exponentially growing. Not in population, but in resource exportation. Our fisheries, our forest, everything is exponentially growing, right? And it's going to peak between now and 2050. It's going to peak. I think it's going to peak around 2020, 2025. That is why it's so important that e-singularity happens. It's so important that um, the open startup happens. Um, 
that we can change because the open startup changes the corporation from a, a selfish entity to a selfless entity. Um, E-Singularity provides the way for us to educate people about this, right? Everyone. How do we educate, you know, 7 billion people? Well, we can only, we can educate them autonomously through smart devices. Everyone's going to have a phone. Everyone's going to have a device that ultimately can teach them math, science, language arts. This is part of science, okay? Um, ultimately, uh, you know, um, we're talking about, uh, you know, biodiversity here. You can read this. But, uh, and here's very interesting. It doesn't wash off, okay? Neonicotinoid does not wash off. So where there's a buildup. And um, strawberries, apples, okay? So in Japan, the current revised, Japan it looks like they have, they're using this stuff a lot, okay? Um, wow. All right. This is serious here, right? Levels of this, we're consuming this. Here you go, systemic pesticides contaminate entire plant. And you know, my I know my I'm a rice farmer here, right? So what what do they do? They dis disrupt the nerve functions. Here it is. The the um, right here. So basically, imagine we're going to become because we're because it's in our food, we're eating it. Don't you think it's going to affect us eventually, right? Here is the uh, the effects. Pretty scary stuff. So what are the effects? You can read here, right? Disturb the normal functions of... I can't I wish I could read it. I that plays an important role in nerve systems. That's why the bee stumbles around, right? Um, and acts kind of drunk. And this, um, whatever you call it, is one of the main central insects, right? So, okay, is it true that it's safe for humans? The basis of, of the nerve system in insects and humans are similar, right? Same. Oh, you really resemble me in nervous system, right? There it is. <laughs> brain, brain, central nervous system. So is it going to, eventually it's going to affect us, right? So we're both similar. We both have the same This is what we are, we bear in others. So please, please become educated about, you know, systemic pesticides. And um, the policy recommendation for Japanese indoctrin dis disruptor preventative action, JEPA, on demand and ban of, you know, continent, right? Based on the pesticide article 3, da 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 da, the health is, should immediately revise. This health should take you know, Jap Japanese people. That's what I love about Japan, is that people here, you know, they will dig into s something and figure it out. As they, you know, as you see in this uh, in this uh, group, you can, um, you know, you can get more information here, right, from this group here. Here you go. This is relatively new, October 11, 2010. Remember, the following year, the tsunami happened, 
and now we got to get back on track with this. My name is Michael Trout. I am the founder of Beekeeping World, and um, I started Beekeeping Japan. I'm just starting one hive. I'm looking for other folks to come in and, and help us. We got to become. We have to fight against this this pesticide. We have to take action. Um, you know, we talk about recently that that the um, the guy in Africa because of Conic 2012, right? Stop this this. Well, we have a worse enemy than them. It's called systemic pesticides being produced by these major corporations, and they're killing, wiping out insects worldwide. You know, and and eventually this stuff's going to affect us. It all goes down. We have unleashed biological biological weapons on the insects, and insects are our best friend. And instead of murdering them, we need to come up with better ways of dealing with them. Um, and we better act soon.